Alfred Lickin, and hello, it's Foe, and welcome back to our playthrough of City Skylines. Last time we made it to Little Hamlet, we're going to carry on from here and see how far we can take it. Hopefully hit our next milestone. So last time what we really needed to do was pop in some more power. We're going to go for another wind turbine here. Hopefully that's going to be enough to satisfy our town's needs. We've got the option of having a coal power plant, but we're going to try and focus on green energy. We also needed to finish these roads, so we can get that popped in. Make a nice mirror image so we can fill that in. And we need to delete some of these excess power lines. We just don't need them anymore, now that we've got buildings in. We can dezone this and we can make a mirror image so we've got another section of commercial across here, some more shops for our uh, locals here. Now we can fill up the rest of the area with some nice residential. And that should hopefully address some of our needs. Again, we're not going all the way at the top because we're going to leave one square for our pedestrian pathways. Having a look at the new things we've unlocked, we can put in a landfill site to deal with our garbage. But ideally, we'd like to use the uh, easy garbage incinerator. It's a lot better, it's more efficient, and it doesn't produce pollution. So we're going to need to save up for that. We can't afford a medical clinic, we just need to find a place to pop it in. If we pop it in on the big road, it's got easier access from every angle. It's going to cover our housing area there. We also need to put in an elementary school, but we don't quite have the money for that yet either. Hopefully one elementary school would cover that area that we've popped in for the housing. We're going to need some more cash for that. We've also got the community school unlocked, but that's just another version of the elementary school that uses less power. It's like a, a more green and more efficient version. Now that we've popped in our second turbine, hopefully we can reduce this budget back down. And then as it goes back in, we can pop it back up as we need it. Let's start the simulation again, get some people moved in here. Power is not quite enough, so we're going to pop it back up again. It's just trial and error of readjusting the budgets as, as required. Yeah, yeah. Looks like we're... yep, that's us, we're producing enough now. Can actually bring it down a little bit more. We do want to build up cash so we can get the uh, the economy just right, balanced. That'll help us make money while still providing enough power. Okay, so we're just gonna let this grow in a little bit more. Things are looking good. Looks like we do need garbage collection. Need to get the trash manis. So we're going to take that first loan, that way we can afford our uh, garbage disposal. So we're not going to use the landfill, we're going to use the little incinerator here. Pop it again on the main road for easier access for the trucks to get in and out of. Start the simulation. So the garbage trucks are out and about, They're starting to lose power again. Go in, pop it up to 100, hopefully that should see us okay for the next wee while. Yep, that seems to be power dealt with for the meantime. Need to fill in some more of this industrial area. Seems to be our highest demand at the moment. So we'll fill in, say this much. Obviously I have to put some commercial in between the industrial areas and the residential areas. Fill in our missing water pipes here. Make sure everybody's covered. That's it. Well, 
water seems to be fine so far. Don't need a second water pump yet. So things are filling in nicely. I'll try and put in some commercial areas to help create a barrier in between the industrial areas and the residential. Again, we're going to leave off the one square for a path, and then we're going to pop in our school. If we pop it in over here next to our medical centre, again, it's on the main road, it's got the best access. It does sort of annihilate a couple of houses there, but that should be fine. Lightning's coming down, things are ominous. Just fill up this area, sort of satisfy that need for residential. Okay, and we'll leave our little spaces. We can start making the, the mirror image on this side. Same shape of roads. Get yeah, that popped in. Ah, we've hit Worthy Village. This is our next milestone. We're going to keep going after this. We'll try and get all the way to the next milestone. We can see we've unlocked a few things. We can now get a second loan. That's quite important to us. Keep our money flow okay. Districts, policies, don't really need these things yet, I don't think. We can put in a fire station, police station. Don't think we need any unique buildings yet. We might use one of those. We can now have the self-sufficient buildings, the other type of uh, residential buildings. But we still haven't got the high density unlocked yet. So we'll have to go in, put in a firehouse, put in a police station, get these services in. That should make our areas more attractive, get more people moving in. Yeah, it's a fair amount to unlock for Worthy Village. Yeah, we're just going to keep going, power through, get to the next one. I'm going to pause it while we finish off these roads. That's that popped in. We can cover it with uh, our water pipes. Saves us needing to come back when we zone it in. Can continue the barrier up here. Blocking off the two sections. We want to put in our fire station. I mean, industry needs it more than the residential, I suppose, but we can pop it in sort of halfway between on the main road here. That should hopefully cover both areas. Police station. Can't quite afford that yet. Might have to go into the second loan to get that on the go. We'll go pop that in. So we're going to take our second loan, 60 grand. It's more than enough. So we could pay off the first loan. No, we've still got that option. Should we run out of money again? We'll pop in our police station here, next to the fire station. Again, hopefully that should cover both areas. Everything that we put in. Put in another incinerator, just so there's sort of one on each side. That'll stop the garbage piling up. Got one medical center, might have been a second one, there we go. And then even when all this is zoned in, that should be enough services to sort of cover that area. So we're going to bring out our big road to meet up. I'm going to do the same around the other side. I might want to put in a roundabout here. Just because it's better than heavily used junctions. Anytime you can pop in a roundabout is good. Looks like we've run out of money again. Might need to go in and take that uh, loan. Finish off the road. Get this developed up. So I'm going to retake that first loan. More cash in the bank. Didn't think we'd need it, but looks like we will. Connect that up. Delete this extra bit we don't need. That should be our road set up for the meantime. Just need to fill this area in now. So if we delete these, we can pop in a roundabout. Instead of what will be a four-way junction. Looks like we need to delete a little more. get this lined up. If we don't get it lined up perfectly we can use move it but try and get it lined up as best we can. 
get that popped in. And then, just like we did with the other roundabout, we're going to upgrade this to the larger roads. I'm going to try and connect them up. You can see this is not quite straight. We'll have to come back into this, remove it, and straighten it up a little bit. You can spend forever sort of sitting and tweaking things slightly to get everything lined up. That'll certainly help us later. Go in, take out the traffic lights that automatically get generated when you pop in the roundabout. I'll zone a few more of these areas down here now. Could put in more commercial there just to reinforce that barrier. Looks like we're gonna run out of water at some point. We might want to either up the budget or pop in another one. Power, we're okay, but only just. Guess we can delete these extra power lines now that we don't need them, because it's connected through the buildings. Get this one out of the way, then we could pop in another wind turbine. I'll make sure that we're not up above 100% on our budget. While we can afford it, we may as well. Yeah, I'm definitely running out of water, so I'll may as well make a second water intake and sewage output. Gonna need loads of these for the whole build, so. It's no surprise we should need to put in another one early on. That's them getting connected up. How we're going to them. And that's them all lit up now, so that's them working. Should cover the water needs for the meantime. Can zone in a few more sections here. Power is an issue again. Hmm. Well, we're on 100% and we've got three, so. Maybe try going up to 110, see if that's enough. We could have put up the budget on the water a bit. We need it yet. While we've got the cash, we can splash out on the hardware. Electricity, it's not solving the problem at 110%, so since we're in the daytime, we'll just adjust the daytime value. And if uh, we run out of power again, we can always change the nighttime value. But we'll see if 130 is going to be enough. Yeah, it seems to be the power needs sorted again, for the meantime anyway. Progressing nicely. Ah, the eventual power problems. Coming back to get us again. If we're up on 130%, I think we may need another turbine. No point in going all the way up to 150%, it would be better with the turbine. Pop one in here, that's still connected to all the other ones. We'll run that, see if the power jumps up. Yep, seems fine, so we can take this back down. And if we go down to 100, we'll see if that's enough. Yep, seems to be enough for the meantime. Obviously when we get a few more milestones passed we can get alternative power stations. But we don't get many other green options unlocked uh, this early in the game. Because we want more residential, 
I'm thinking of a better way to block this off so we don't have any chance of the pollution coming from the industrial area up into the residential. We could sort of block it off like this and make a barrier of commercial all the way along just to keep the industrial and the residential separate. Now that this area is quite defined we can sort of fill this up with the industrial if we want to. Or commercial over here, fill up this gap with commercial. Fill this back in. And take out these and pop in residential here. If we swap this one out for a residential, that way we're helping to keep the distance, maintaining distance between our industrial and our residential. Get this swapped out as well. So a better barrier, I think. Guess we don't need this little square here. Can leave that for the main road. So that should be all the zoning we need to do for the meanwhile. Just need to let that fill out and adjust the uh, the budgets as we need to. Obviously, the more houses that come in, the more of a drain there is on the the water and the power. Yeah, seems to be coming in fine. You don't generally want to overzone because it uh, annihilates your needs. And it's very hard to discern what your city actually needs in terms of zoning. And there we go, we've hit Tiny Town. So we managed to get to 1,600 in terms of our population. I'm going to leave it here for today and then come back to it again tomorrow. We've unlocked quite a few things. We've got parks, that's quite important. We've got landscaping, we might need that. Industry areas we're not going to use yet. We've level 2 unique buildings. But certainly the parks we'll use. Football and concerts, we won't need that yet. We've got loads of new policies. Can perhaps implement them. Maybe parks and recreation, that sort of thing. We haven't done any policies yet, so we can have a look at that panel when we get to it. We've got plenty of new roads coming in. We've got uh, new buildings as well. These are all paths for our parks. We've got in industry roads. Then we've unlocked our pedestrian and bicycle path can be important we can start popping that in next episode got canals but I never use those got fences for our park so we can maybe pop in a park ne next episode a custom park these are all our standard parks also got high school now we're gonna need to put in one of those public library as well and we've got uh, medical buildings as well like the sports hall and gym Provide a little bit of uh, boost to the citizens' health. So we'll go ahead and we'll pop all these things in as we see fit next episode. Have a look at the unique buildings here. We can see that some of them require certain requisites, certain things to be met before we can put down the unique building. We probably won't be able to achieve that in our normal playthrough. We'll wait until we've got the city built up to a reasonable population. And then we can always take one of our save files, go into it, wreck the city completely to meet all these requirements. Getting all the abandoned buildings and making all the population sick and all these extra things. Do that in a separate save basically. And then when we save that save, it'll unlock it across all our save files. So you only need to sort of get these achievements once to unlock the buildings across all of your saves. But because I usually play with unlock all to put down a big roundabout immediately, then we don't have access to these buildings. I don't have any old saves on here that I've uh, previously done it with. So at some point further down the line, 
we'll go back in with a, a save and wreck the city for fun and we'll unlock these buildings so we can put them in the city. So we'll see you in the next episode, we'll come back and we'll take a little further. Until then, take it easy, see you in the next one.